How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitch. I'm back and He's I'm back. joined by the lovely Emma Story. All right, so in today's episode, we're going to cover uh, the West Brom result, unfortunately. Um, are our title hopes gone? We need the fan support. We're going to be talking about that. Delhi Ali's rage. Rage. Ooh, a bit of rage. rage. We're also going to talk about the fact that our heads mustn't drop. Keep them up. And also, I'm, I've got a PSA to the haters. Um, but we're going to kick things off with the West Brom result. Believe me, it's going to be worth waiting for that. Uh, uh, yeah, West Brom result. Oh, God. I don't, you know, I'm all about, everyone knows that I'm all about the positive. But, yeah. God. That second half, the first half was great. I know we only had one goal, but it was great. It was enjoyable. We played some brilliant, brilliant football. Everyone looked on point. We looked confident. The fans were up for it. It was, it was fantastic. And then in the second half, it all fell apart. I don't, I literally don't know what happened. We weren't nervous. I didn't see any sign of nerves whatsoever. But I felt like for maybe the first time this season that we switched off. I, I, I just... I, I did, do you know what? I did see sign of nerves. Do I, you I, think? In the second, I did, especially when it came to set pieces. And do you know what? Ever since that West Ham game, when Antonio put the header away from the corner, yeah. I've just been very, very jittery around set pieces. Let's face facts, Vertonghen and Alderweireld, they're not the tallest centre-halves in the world. Eric Dyer is probably one of our tallest players. Yeah, I think he's six. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, when it comes to a set piece, I'm always a bit edgy okay. with us. Yeah, like, and I knew, you just, it was inevitable. You saw how it was coming. It you was did. building up, building up. Their attempts went from like one in the first half to like 12 in the space of 15 minutes. Yeah. And we just knew, we knew as Spurs fans, even though we thought Spurs, he was dead and it was all gone, <laughs> we knew a goal was coming. Everyone knew a goal was coming. Poch knew a goal was coming. But Everyone the, knew. But the thing about it was, yeah, we knew there was a goal coming, but I never thought, I mean, it happened with 15 minutes to go and I thought, well, it'll be fine. We'll get another one. I didn't, honestly. Did you really not Yeah, think that? I just, because I, I looked at our bench and I thought, no one on the field right now is putting in the performance we need. No one's being creative. Who is going to come off the bench and do something? Oh, well, then Mason came off the bench and just well, tried to make it yeah, tick. But, but no, then you had well, Chadley, well, on, didn't on, really do on. anything. Son didn't do it. Hang no one on. did anything. Hang on. Mason yeah. was an enforced change because Hugo decided to yeah, knock of Dyer out. Of course, of course. But like none of them, no one on our bench. I looked at our bench and I said, there are no game changers there. Not one game changer in this sort of game where they've stifled us yeah. and they've really upped their game. It's a Tony Pulis side. Like, the, the goal we got wasn't even from one of our players. It was I from know. the same man that scored, against, scored us. against us. And his name was Craig. I'm changing my name. Just call me Mitch. That's it. <laughs> I never want to... Craig, I don't like... I'm changing my name. I will never listen to a Craig David record ever again. I'm done. You, I hate Craig. You heard it here first. I hate him. It's Mitch Mitch. Craig Dawson. I know. Craig Dawson. I know. I'm done. I mean, in the first half, we hit the post with flipping Ericsson's free kick. When is Ericsson going to score on a free kick? Against Chelsea. When is he going to score another against free kick? Chelsea. Oh, yeah, he's going to score. All right, he cool. Is. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Are you going to... There was, like, two minutes to go. I know. Ericsson lines up a free kick, and then he puts it On into... The I know. The roof? Oh, no, it was in sorry. Tottenham Hale. Yes. The ball ended up that, by Burger that, King in Tottenham Hale. <laughs> Are you serious, Ericsson? You couldn't even get on target. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to be calm. This is what I've been putting up with all calm. morning. I'm going to be calm. Morning. Deep breath. Calm, Deep breath. Calm, come on. You just come back from LA. It's all very zen. Payet's just sticking free kicks away like it's oh. no one's business from about 50 yards. We're not West and Ham. And Ericsson can't even get one on target in the dire embers of the game. We're not West Ham channel. Don't talk Woo. about Payet. Breathe. Breathe. Seriously, it's bad. Look, all right. we know. We know so, it's after bad. that game, let's we talk really about the title don't. hopes. Because they're gone. You know, it moves from one negative thing to another. This is the best spurvets ever. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm spurverted <laughs> about our title hopes completely. Just evaporating, basically. Are they gone, Emma? Are they gone? Yeah, they are. They, of I mean, we've got. Gone. Of course they're gone. But you know what? I mean, they are gone. Look, Leicester have to get three more points from their final three games, even if they lose to Manchester United, which is entirely possible because yeah. Man, you are fighting for top four. Everton, who are absolutely terrible, and then on the last day they've got bloody Chelsea, who are literally going to lie down and die. Cassidy's going to come in and go, guys. Then beat. Have Leicester. a great game. <laughs> Have a go so, and play your hearts out. So, of course, the title's hopes are gone. We had to win all our games to stand a chance. You know what, realistically, do you know, let me be realistic. Even if we won all our games, it was a long shot. Of course it was. But it was it a long shot. So but in this manner, in this manner, to lose at West Brom at home. I know, I know. After everything with Jeremy Peace and Berahino, to let them end our season. Oh, my God, you couldn't write this. You but, just couldn't write it, could but, you? But in a, do you know in what? A, in a, in a, and have Sandro come on at the end and then start hugging our players. Oh, oh do one, Sandro. No. 
do one. It was nice to see Sandro. We gave no, him, it wasn't. We gave him a big. Do you would have been nice if he scored an own goal like Craig Dawson did? We were hoping that. That would have been on. great. Oh, oh. <laughs> let me <laughs> bundle in or push my keeper. In the back. That he, would have been great. <laughs> when he came on, we were like, Agent Sandro, Agent Sandro, own goal's oh, coming. Whatever. But it didn't. It didn't happen. Of course, it didn't, it didn't happen. happen. And Jeremy Peace was up somewhere in that box, just rubbing his hands. Well, you know what? You can all. D Every single one of you at West Brom, every single one of you at the Hall of Forms. In fact, do you know what? Everyone from <laughs> Brum. I hate you all. I hate every single one. I know I've never been Birmingham. I know I'm never going to go Birmingham. But. <laughs> oh! Look, like, I'll, I'm going to ask And Damari Gray, he's from Brum. You better not get a prime medal. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you one question though. Would you rather, please breathe. Would you rather it ended last night against West Brom or would you rather Chelsea had ended it next week at Stamford Bridge by beating us? Do you know this sounds crazy? But if we lost to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, I could accept that because we don't beat them at Stamford Bridge. You can't not beat West Brom at home. You can't. It's West Brom. Arsenal just beat them 2-0. Arsenal, that spineless team. Are yeah. you serious? Are you, se are you Is that a serious question? Are you being that serious right now? That was a right serious now? question because could you imagine? No, let's let's remove all this. Let's let's, um, let's remove all this emotional attachment to us hating Chelsea. Okay, if but we lost, they're a better team than West Brom. They're hard to beat at well, Stamford Bridge. But, but marginally, if we, if, marginally this season. All right, all right. Come on. If we didn't beat them, we, somehow I would have understood. Yeah. Or if we got a draw, yeah. I would have understood that. Yeah. West Brom at home. Serious. Look at this in my voice. Yeah, it was supposed to be our banker. In our last four games. Oh my God. They yeah. played like their lives depended on it, West Brom. They why? did. Why? 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 why do they care? Why? Why? Why do they care? It's the Jer do you know what? Conspiracy. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Peace, all of this. But I'm not the one that does conspiracy. No. But I'm going to speak to my friend Qu who knows a friend secret. that knows the guy that does it. Yeah. And totally we, anyway, next topic. So. <laughs> but look. See, I'm coming back in with the positive. Because okay. Craig obviously can't really handle this, but yeah. I am going to bring this back. And I'm going to talk about our wonderful fans. Oh, they're Because phenomenal. last night, yeah. we were brilliant. They and were, I'm not they just were. talking about when we were winning, which obviously we were brilliant, yeah. but when we got the equaliser, uh, everybody just got straight got behind the, the boys. Sorry, when they got, oh, you know what I mean. No, I just want to help get you out. I'm trying to help don't you get out. Picky on me. I'm not, I'm trying to help you out. Oh, yeah, so carry on. Okay, so when they got their equaliser, yeah. we just carried on, got behind the boys, and even better at full time when there was some real devastation going on on the pitch, quite frankly, among our boys, our fans, we were all singing, singing for the love of Tottenham. We was. And it was amazing because... I respect that. They're better men than I could ever be. Completely. Well, yeah. and women. Better women. Yeah, women. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's incredible. Yeah. And, you know, we've talked a lot about the relationship that's developed between our players and our fans this season. And I think if there was ever a game that actually kind of epitomised that, it's what happened last night. Yeah. Because we've all been there in previous seasons when things haven't gone our way. Fans have got on the players' backs. There's been booze at full time. Throwing a strop, fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, it's been ridiculous. horrible. It's so wonderful to see yeah, so much support. And we it need was. that now we do. for the rest of the season. We because do. We need to talk about our heads not dropping, which we will come on to. But there's somebody uh, I think you want to <laughs> have a little word about, <laughs> a little bit concerned about. I actually think, see some similarities between the two of you with the kind of rage thing. So, <laughs> a one Deli Ali who <laughs> has, you know, he's built a kind of reputation for being a bit of a yeah. bad boy. You know, he likes to lash out time ago. We saw it against Fiorentina. We did. We did. And, you know, again last night, um, oh. he's taken a little swipe at Jakub. And, uh, but the thing such, is, not such a little one. All right, he's just completely hit him in the gut. He's punched him. <laughs> basically, in he's the punched gut. Him. He's basically gone whack. Now, to be fair to Jakob, he didn't make a meal of it. He didn't fall on the floor or anything. No. He just ran after him and he didn't even do much, to be honest. I'm quite surprised. I mean, in fairness, Jakob had been but winding him up the whole time. That's match what it is. As well. Because Lely King said it best. He needs to, when senior players see a younger player, they try and get in their head. They have little knocks at them, you know, nibbles, and try and get into their head. And it works with Deli Ali because the, the guy's just fiery. He's proper fiery. But he took it a step too far once again. The problem is he's got to find, and you know, we say it all the time, he's young, this is his first season in the Premier League. Everybody's obviously targeting him because he's so good. He's the PFA Young Player of the Year. Like, he not oh, makes yeah. people for fun. Oh, it's we've got awesome. to talk about that. And we do need to talk about that. But, er you know, everybody niggles at him. Yeah. Because they know it'll get a rise out of him. And he's got to learn to deal with that. But I'm confident that he will. I think Poch has probably got the way to tread, tread the line between getting him to kind of manage that aggression, but also not losing it altogether. Because we don't want him be to lose it. Would it be wrong of me to say that I don't want him to? No, I don't want him to lose the aggression, but okay. I also don't want him to get sent off. That's it. We don't want match bans you know? and all of this. Do you know what? Oh, speaking of match bans, so I've gone back to it again. Oh my <laughs> God. 
We got done a favour with Vardy. I know. And we still couldn't, do you know what? And we're going to get done another favour because he's not going to play against Man U. I know, but... do you know what? Oh, well, anyway, look, Deli Ali. Um, Let's I've talk just... about Young Player of the Year, though. Let's be happy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what a legend. congratulations. As I mean, if it was ever in doubt. No, even better than all of this. He accepted the award in a trackie. I know. <laughs> like, they've all come dappered up, looking like 007, like <laughs> renting their tucks from Dolce & Gabbana, wherever, and he just shows up in the training kit, like... Yeah. He wasn't there. He was. Uh, that's Pardon? why he got given it the training kit. Yeah, I knew that. So um, if you've been paying attention, you would know that Poch said that the boys listen. couldn't go on Sunday night because we had a big game. Well, on listen, Monday. some of us, yeah, were in LA. Oh, for God's sake! Okay. How long would it be before you post LA then? the blues? Oh, all right. Just, okay. Well, he wasn't know? there. He wasn't there. Okay. But the point. Well, was, I like to think he would have showed up in a tracky either way and you, kept it real. Did you see the accepted really? video? Did you see the way? Shout out to all my Milton Keynes dons. Oh, yeah. Not not the, the team, oh, the dons. That. The we that's what we say in the ends. <laughs> the dons. The dons. The donnies. <laughs> Shout out to everyone from Milton Keynes. But seriously, it's it's amazing. Yeah, Ali, he's, you know he deserves it. You. He deserves. It. We, everyone knew he was going to win it months ago when he scored that goal against Chris Price. Which better win, goal of the season? Might I add? Yeah. All right, but you know what? Whatever. I'm going to end things with a little PSA. No, 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 no. What? What? Oh, I've still got another one to Oh, go. sorry. My bad. Go on. Go ahead. Go, sorry. Go ahead. Just, I'm, I'm just. Go. Go. He, honestly, he comes back from LA, he just wants to charge <laughs> on. The stage is set. Okay. I just want to talk about yeah. how we mustn't let our heads drop now. Yeah, you're right. In all seriousness, you're the right. title may be gone, but we can still get second. We can still finish above the scum. We can still beat, Stanford, beat Chelsea at Stanford Bridge for the first time in 20... I can't even work it out. 1990, 89, 90. So... Mm. That's how many years ago? 26. 26. Thank you. Barnaby's just adding up for me, which is great. 26 years. We can still do that. And it's really, really, really important that we don't let this West Brom debacle completely derail, derail us. I can't get my words out today. Mm. Because it's been such a great season. We would hate for it to end on a crap note. Yeah. Even worse, allow Arsenal to overtake us. And even mm. worse than that, I mean, we have to be careful. That draw last night means that we haven't secured, or the draw on Monday night, sorry, means that we haven't secured Champions League football yet, guaranteed it. I can't see us collapsing that far, but we do have to be careful. We've got to yeah. stay motivated. And we the do. really good thing, and the positive thing for us now, is that we've actually got a whole week off. If we'd been playing on Saturday, I'd have worried about the players' ability to get motivated and get back up again after such a devastating You know we had a week off before this game? Yes. Okay, just letting you know that. But we won so, that, so it's, you know... I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We had a week to prepare for the West Brom game. No, but it gives them time to get over it in their heads. Yeah. Get back on it. Yeah. And then roll on the bank holiday Monday, roll on Stamford Bridge. So I think... No, you're completely right. We can't We can't let our heads drop. Hang on a minute. Did you just say I was completely right? Yeah, you're completely right. It's just... This has never happened Let's not dwell before. on this, okay? This Let's has not never dwell on this. happened All right? before. Anyway, guys. Oh, my God. Anyway. Anyway, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I would for. just like to say a message to the haters. All of you <laughs> out there that added me at, at the final whistle, everyone that messaged me in a WhatsApp group, that sent me an email, that yeah, phoned my house phone, you are absolutely <laughs> pathetic, honestly. I don't know a set of fans that are better than us. No. And you're going to say Leicester, but I don't know Leicester fans. That's why I say that. I don't know a set of fans better than us. So for anyone to chat crud to me, Emma, Craig Vi, who is now called Vi, because we don't like that name anymore. Reese James, Barnaby Slater, anyone that has anything to do with this bloody channel, do you know what you can do? Do you know what you can do? You can <laughs> How about that? You can just <laughs> That's it. Or you can not chat crud to us and carry on with your life. But if you're going to chat crud to us, you might as well just <laughs> It doesn't make sense. It's pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic. Grown adults atting me. Does that make sense? I, I, Arsenal <laughs> fans, me. Yeah. Do you know what you are? You're fourth. They pay rent at fourth. That's yeah, where they live. They were top of the league in January as well. Oh my God. Anyway, that's my message. So that's his message. So this has been Spurvers. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that want to maybe comment on some of the things we've, we've talked about. You know, Craig's. Our title hopes, are they definitely gone now? Oh, West oh, wait, Brom. wait, 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 wait. Deli Alley. All the positive stuff. Please comment below. <laughs> Give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And regardless of how this now goes, come on, you Spurs. This is my regular uh, post match five things that I felt we learned about it. I'm going to try and continue to be positive as much as I can because I think it's really important that we just do not forget what an amazing job Maurizio Pochettino has done.